Hey, sixth grade. Uh, I'm Mr. McCaffrey, and I'm here with Miss Mejia. Hey, guys. And we want to introduce uh, ourselves to y'all. In the count, we're the counseling team for Griffin Middle School for the entire year, and I am your sixth grade counselor. And as you can see on this slide, uh, we have three grade level counselors, and Miss Mejia is our all grades counselor. So you see Ms. McFadden, and you see Dr. Richardson, and you see myself, and you see Ms. Mejia. So we're gonna continue on. Uh, this is the second Wildcat Wellness, and we just wanted to remind you a few of the things that this is for you, the students. Um, and it's a time where you get to learn about you know, yourself, and really you get to hear from others. And that's probably, you know, the most important thing for me for these lessons is hearing from others and getting different perspectives because, you know, that's how we learn is we learn from others. So just to remind you, while these first couple weeks, we're doing it twice a week, after next week, they're only going to be once a week lessons, okay? So it's a designated time for your social emotional development. And as your counselors and your teachers, uh, that, that's critical to, you know, your success in life as just a, a citizen of the community, a citizen of Griffin, and, and a student in our school. Um, so we'll continue on. Oh yeah, I love those transitions, Ms. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the school counselor introduction, uh, just to remind you, we have four full-time counselors, so there's always someone here for you to talk to. If something's going on in class or something's going on at home, that, that's our role in the school. So each grade level has one, and Miss Mejia is for all grades, and she's our emergency crisis counselor. We're going to let her, you know, give you some more information in a second. So at the bottom, the counselor's role, uh, just word for word, it's to work with students and teachers to provide academic, career, personal, and social growth. And that, that's a big part, the last one, the social growth, that's the wildcat wellness scene. Uh, that's a big part. We'll do other things involved, and we'll get into that in the next slide. But Wildcat Wellness really promotes that personal and social growth. All right, so you might be asking, what's a counselor do, or when will we see a counselor? Uh, well, these are all the kind of the, the most important parts or important times when you might have interactions with us. In the individual sessions, we see a lot when uh, we're in school, you know, with Dealing with other students, there's a lot of conflicts and we kind of conflict resolution is a big part of what we do. We have things called peace walks and our seventh and eighth graders know all about them. Uh, since we're virtual, it might be a little different, but there's still things that are gonna come up. If someone says something that's unpleasant and it upsets you, we kind of go through that. Um, we kind of talk about it and you know, we help you through some of those things. Um, there's also small groups, which we'll be offering uh, we'll be offering support groups, some academic groups, uh, motivation groups, and there'll be all sorts of things going on throughout the year. And your teachers will kind of let you know when those come up. Um, we'll make sure to inform them. They'll put it on their CTLS class page. And uh, if you're interested, you just sign up and we can go from there. Uh, you also see us right now during Wildcat Wellness, which is, we're really excited about this program. Uh, we'll do something called Naviance, which changes per grade, uh, but with sixth grade, I believe it is the learning styles, if it's still that, and also there's an interest inventory, uh, I believe with sixth grade, uh, that's going to yes. ask you a bunch of questions, and it's a survey, and it kind of guides you and figures out what some of your interests are. Uh, you'll also see us in your classroom. Um, we will do home visits, you know, if y'all want us to come out, you just let us know if you need someone mm -hmm. to do, or if something's going on uh, and we need to go visit, uh, you know, a lot of absences, if we're not showing up to class, if we're not doing work, we'll come out just to kind of, you know, hey, what's going on? How can we help? Those kind of questions. Um, then emergency situations, which we're going to get into in a second, which really, you know, the counselors are here for a lot. Uh, but this is at the core of why we're here because uh, those situations come up and, you know, we want to be able to help. So we're going to keep on rolling. We do want to tell you all about us. All right. As your counselors, we want you all to kind of know us as individuals, too. 
Uh, so about me, Mr. McCaffrey, I graduated high school in Atlanta. I went to Marist High School and I went to Ohio Wesleyan and I played basketball there. Very small school in a small town, Ohio. Uh, but it was a great fun and I learned a lot. So while I was in school, I got that puppy dog next to me. <laughs> The logo, her name is Nellie. She's a bloodhound. Uh, she's she's fantastic. I think she'd get along with your dog, Miss Mejia, Fred. Oh yeah, well my dog gets along with everybody, so yeah. It'd be great. And then below you see, I do a lot of basketball. I coach uh, high school basketball. I coach a lot of travel AAU basketball. Uh, it is absolutely one of my passions and that's a trophy we won a tournament down in Florida. So, you know, we just wanted to put that in to show y'all, but we got a lot of those pictures. So if y'all come around and you like basketball, we can have a lot of talks. So after college up in Ohio, I came back to Georgia where I'm from, born and raised. Um, and I went to the University of West Georgia to get what's called a master's degree in school counseling. And that's when I began my journey to become a school counselor uh, it was a two-year program. It was great, and we learned a lot out there in Carrollton, Georgia. You might notice some of your teachers went to West Georgia as well. It's a great school. Uh, they really, they want you to graduate, so they really do help you, uh, and it's a great opportunity for y'all after high school or even beyond at any stage in life. West Georgia accepts students and helps them graduate and get to the next level where they ever, wherever they want to get to. Uh, so those are just a little couple facts about me. Feel free to make an appointment, stop by, um, and we can continue talking. But we will get into a lot more of that uh, just in a few minutes about how to contact us. So I am going to turn it over to Miss Mejia. Great. Thank you, Mr. McCaffrey. Um, hey, sixth graders, I know um, you don't know Mr. McCaffrey very well yet, but I want to tell you how lucky you are to have him as a counselor. Everybody loves him. He's really approachable. Please reach out whenever you need him. Seriously, he's an amazing coworker, a teammate, um, and amazing counselor, and he's lucky. Um, I'm sorry, you're lucky to have him. He's amazing. So we have a little bit in common. If you see the logo, I'm also a student at West Georgia. So he graduated from there. Um, I graduated from there uh, about a year ago with a specialist degree. So that's after a master's um, in counseling. And now I'm there now. I'm a current student. So I'm a li a literally a lifelong learner and I'm working towards my doctorate in school counseling. So I'm so excited about it. I'm love 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 school and i love my job and so a little bit about me guys so i'm the all grades counselor this year i have been at griffin middle school for about eight years but i have about um, 19 years experience in school counseling so i've seen it all talk to everybody about everything please do not hesitate to approach me about anything i'm totally here to listen to you so i see students in all the grades that means i back up the counselors at the grade level so if they're really busy with something or maybe they're teaching in a classroom i'm here for you okay so don't hesitate to reach out to me so a little bit more about me i'm born and raised in brooklyn that's a really big city guys it's in new york city um huge uh people from everywhere populations from all over the place so um i have seen it all and experienced it all in new york and i love growing up there amazing place to grow up um, I have a son, if you can see right there, it's um, him and me in Texas. I was visiting him out in Texas. He's 22, his name is Ethan, um, and he's totally my favorite. Um, I do have another favorite, if you can see a little puppy here. Um, his name is Frazier. Um, you will definitely see him in lessons if I'm teaching from home. So um, he's a little, little mutt and he loves everybody. He loves to help me work too. Do you see him there in that picture? where he is at my desk. So he's always looking at what I'm doing and he kind of gets in the way. Um, and then up at the top, that's me in, in middle school. So I'm, I, I think it's seventh grade. It could be sixth grade, I'm not sure. Um, but I went to school, like I said, in Brooklyn, born and raised there. And, um, and there I am in my little uniform. So uh, just excited to start the school year. I'm sure that was like a first day of school picture. Um, so that's a little bit about me, guys. Can we move on to the next slide? Here we go. 
Awesome. All right, since I'm your um, backup counselor, all grades counselor, emergency counselor, I wanna tell you about emergencies. So a lot of times we feel like in, in middle school, you feel like maybe everything's an emergency. So we have to really slow it down and think about truly what's an emergency and, and what do you have to do when it comes up? So are you concerned about someone's safety? And are you concerned that something might happen today? Okay, so that might be an emergency. And so that would be a reason to stop and act. So the next slide, please. So you're gonna stop and act. Ask yourself this question, who is upset? Is it me? So then you're gonna to ask to talk to an adult. So I'm, if I'm upset, then I'm gonna go and find my counselor. Maybe I'll find um, an adult in my house. That'd probably be the best choice, right? If there's nobody available, contact a counselor. We're gonna give you all that information in a minute. Um, maybe a favorite relative, maybe an older sibling. You need to find somebody, talk to somebody right away if you're afraid of somebody's um, safety. If it's your friend, right, they're really, they're really upset about something and you don't know how to help them, this would be a good time to encourage them to find an adult, okay? And if they have no one at their house, maybe they can talk to an adult at your house, but then also reach out to us, okay? We're really gonna try to help you, even though we're not in school with you, we're gonna try to be there for you as much as we can. Okay, the next slide. So what to do when you're worried about a friend? We're gonna act, A-C-T. Acknowledge, so what does acknowledge mean? That's kind of a big word, guys, right? So acknowledge is simply going to notice, right? So if someone is crying, if someone sent you a sad message, if someone has sent you a picture that's disturbing to you that you're worried that makes you worry about somebody you're going to acknowledge it you're going to say oh my goodness how are you doing how are you feeling what can i do for you right you're going to tell your friend that you're worried about them because you noticed it right you notice something is wrong you're going to show that you care that's the c you're going to show that you care well how do you do that you talk to them same as acknowledge you notice them you listen to them you see them you hear them T, the most important part, guys, talk to a trusted adult. Sometimes these problems are too big, right? For our sixth grade um, selves, We're you saw that picture of me before? I couldn't have handled a whole lot of big problems back then, okay? I couldn't. I was a little kid. I was a sixth grader, seventh grader, um, and, and I didn't know a lot about solving problems, but now I'm a lot older. I have a lot, I, I said I had 19 years experience in school counseling. I can help you guys, I can help you. So give it to me, give me the problem. Hand it over to a trusted adult. It's Mr. McCaffrey, if that's your choice, it's another counselor or it's me or somebody at your house, a favorite relative, an older sibling, all kinds of people. Your principal, Dr. Hill, would be somebody good to reach out to too. She's willing to talk to you whenever you need help, okay? So tell an adult, sometimes problems are too big for us to handle. Let us help you carry that load, okay? Thank you. Yeah, I, I just wanna second that. Ms. Yes. Because that, that is so important, students, that if something's concerning or you're scared or worried about another student or yourself, we need to get adults involved. Mm -hmm. um, being in sixth grade, I know seven, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, these you students, you are, you are strong and you are, you know, responsible, but we, mm -hmm. in certain situations, we need to get adults involved. So how can you do that? Well, contacting counselors. We want all teachers to make this available somewhere on the blog if possible, um, or, you know, get this link out in the chat for students but that's a clickable link to our counselor page we can fill out the form and all sixth graders i think it'd be a good idea to write down in your agenda or somewhere where you can see it my google number which is connected to our phone and my email address mm -hmm. um, we monitor those you know pretty much all day so mm -hmm. please 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 write down that contact information so you have it when you need it. Um, if you want, feel free, go ahead and write down seventh and eighth grade, but also you need to write down Ms. Mejia's. Uh, Please do. Every sixth grader should have my number, an email, and Ms. Mejia's number, an email. And if you want, it's optional to have the other counselors, but mm -hmm. I, it's mandatory you have mine and Ms. Mejia's contact information because 
sometimes these things come up out of nowhere and, and you don't know what to do. But if you have that information, you know, hey, I'm just going to contact my counselor and get a little help there. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it and mm -hmm. make sure our Griffin students are, are doing the best they can. So we just wanted to line up with that. So yep. teachers, um, Ms. Mejia, did you have anything else we wanted to add? Nope, that was it. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you all. So teachers, mm -hmm. here's kind of, you know, what we were hoping you could do uh, the rest of Wildcat Wellness. We do have a lot of teachers in the school that didn't finish the first lesson. So this is kind of, we wanted to introduce us a little further and then give you all the option of how to proceed with your class. If they did not take the quizzes, that quizzes link should be there. It's to an eight question quizzes. A couple of them are pretty tough. Some of them are just about the school. Um, you know, that could be good to do with your kids. And we added some more icebreakers on the next slide that are kind of fun just to talk about with your kids or uh, your students. So, you know, you kind of have options depending on how it went on Tuesday. Um, students, it was very nice to at least introduce myself. I can't wait to meet most all y'all really. Um, and hopefully we'll be back in the building when it's safe, but it's nice to introduce myself to y'all. So y'all have a good day. Can't wait to meet you and I'll see you in the classroom, everybody. Thank you, Ms. Mejia, and we'll see you in the classroom. You're welcome. All right, hold on.